Hello and welcome to a quick arcane mage guide for World of Warcraft. Um, I myself tried to find one uh, back when I started out with arcane. I couldn't actually find one, so I thought it'd be beneficial to pass on what I've learned, and hopefully this will help someone else get the damage that they require uh, for fights. Basically, arcane is easy. Um, a lot of people diss it for being so. However, go with what Blizzard gives you. Um, fire, to be honest, is too RNG. Um, it's much easier to do arcane, even though it's got a few RNG elements in itself because you're reliant on the crit effects. But other than that, it is entirely up to you to get the damage up as high as you can, depending on what gear you have and what stats you reforge to, etc. etc. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll start off with the, basically the stats and what's important to get to get the most damage out of your, your character. Um, so, basically. You'll probably notice I'm mostly in heroic gear. Um, that's just basically uh, the level of progress my guild has got to date. It hasn't actually scaled up very well for myself. Um, other players in my guild have gone up much higher. Uh, it's just because I think Arcane is constantly uh, being told how overpowered it is. So the Blizzard hasn't itemized the sets basically to help out with the damage. Um, I haven't seen much of an increase from going from heroic from standard tier 12 not saying that the damage I do is any bad at any rate. Anyway, um, the stats. So, mastery is the most important stat, um, of course, bar hit. Hit you want to be getting to 17%, uh, so get it to cap, or as close to cap as you can, and then reforge everything else to mastery. Mastery boosts your damage done um, by a significant percentage, i.e. Right? for every uh, point of mastery you get an additional 1.5% extra damage. It's definitely worth uh, reforging everything you possibly can to mastery once you've got hit to cap. Uh, if you can't reforge to mastery, then go to crit. Crit is much more important stat versus haste. Haste does not give you much of an increase in damage. You'll probably notice that when you time warp and everything, it really doesn't do much other than hasten your demise of mana. Um, it's not going to be that much of an important stat, therefore it's very easy then to take anything that has haste in it and reforge it to hit, mastery or crit. Okay. Um, if you want a easy method of reforging to the correct stats I recommend getting an add-on such as reforge light. You can activate it um, just by downloading it from curse.com. As soon as you um, go to a reforger, the add-on will appear. Um, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, basically you just select the preset that you want to reforge to. Uh, so in this case I'm going to go and select Arcane. Once I've done that, you can mess around with these stats if you wish to but they're not necessary. Um, I would just keep it as it is. So you can see at the moment it's reforging directly to the spell hit cap of 17%. So when you hit calculate it will then basically sim the best damage that it possibly thinks you can get out of your character and reforge the stats it thinks that will give you that best amount of damage. You hit show and it will basically highlight for you all the gear that you have and reforge where it thinks is necessary. Now you can manually reforge at this point and just reforge the bits that you think it, you should reforge to but I recommend just hit the reforge button it won't let me click this because I've already done it. Um, it will then automatically assign all your stats to what it thinks is the most optimal and then you'll find that as a result you'll be at spell hit cap or as close to spell hit cap as you can be uh, while basically maximizing the amount of mastery you have then the amount of crit and leastly amount of haste. Um, once you've done that basically it's best to just go try it out in the training dummy so I'm going to now show you basically the standard rotation for arcane. So we're at the training dummies um, the Rotation for Arcane is pretty simple as you might have guessed, um, however there are a few things that you need to keep aware of, i.e. your mana. Um, your mana is effectively your, how can I put it, your DPS. Think of it like combat points um, for rogues for instance, it's a very similar thing. There's more, the more combo points you build up, of course the more damage you deal out. In this case the higher amount of mana you have in your mana pool, the more damage you do as a result. So it's always worth basically gemming for intellect and enchanting for intellect where you can maximize that stat as much as you can basically and then obviously reforge to hit, get your crit up um, and then obviously ignore haste. 
the trinkets are pretty much a key vital part of your damage. Um, the one I recommend the most is the Moonwell Chalice. It's the most easily, um, how can I put it, obtained trinket that you can get. Um, just do the Molten Front dailies until you unlock enough to get and talk to the NPC and buy the item. It will pay back in huge dividends with the damage that you get as a result from it. Um, it's on use gives you 1700 mastery which boosts your damage by about a good 30% during your burn phase. It's a very good trinket. The second trinket I'd recommend is the variable pulse lightning capacitor. Hopefully in heroic if your guild is that far along. If it's not managed to kill the raggy then of course just go do it on normal and hopefully we'll get the drop from there. If you don't get any luck with uh, Ragnaros or your guild isn't that far along with that then I recommend uh, getting the Dark Moon Fair card, the Volcano one. Um, it's got a nice amount of uh, mastery on it. It's a good trinket to have at least until 4.3 hits at any rate. Um, without further ado then let's go through the actual mana burn phase. So this is basically stage one of your DPS. Um, you basically have to arcane blast um, up to around 10k mana loss. At that point you pop your burn phase. Now the burn phase is best utilized by basically activating as many procs as you can at once. Um, in this case I've macroed a move uh, that allows me to effectively just you know create my burn phase basically. I call it the go nuts macro, call it whatever you want. Um, if you have herbalism, recommend then you use your lifeblood at the same time. It's not a mandatory thing. Don't go chasing herbalism just to get this move. It's not worth it. I'm just a herbert and I'm just using what I have effectively. Um, afterwards you immediately pop arcane power, then your mirror images, then pop your mana gem, and then lastly, your most key one, your Moonwell Chalice. The Moonwell Chalice afterwards will obviously allow you to then have an increased mastery uh, prop for about 30 seconds at the same time while you're doing your burn phase. So you'll maximize its usage uh, basically by popping it during your mana burn phase. So without further ado, I'll just show you basically how the mana burn phase works. So first of all, just Arcane Blast. Get yourself a few procs. As soon as you've got a proc or you've burnt about 10k mana, you want to pop your Flame Orb and your macro and then just go full out and just burn arcane blast all the way. Now I use a, another add-on called Mix Combats Text which basically gives me a warning at about 30% mana to evocate. You don't have to use it, just you can keep an eye on your mana pool but if you're keeping an eye on the fight instead and just want an audible alert instead then I recommend using that. You can see the damage I'm pushing out without any time warp or other raid buffs is punching around 32k DPS. So there's my audio alert. I then pop evocate, and that's your burn phase complete. Now, once um, you've evocated, you want to then basically keep cycling arcane blast up to four charges, then use arcane muscles. I'll show you that in a second, but just thought you guys might want to appreciate the damage that you're doing out in just your burn phase by activating that macro and following through with the arcane blast. You can see 91% of the damage done is arcane blast. 4% damage done is your lightning bolt, that's from the variable pulse capacitor and then another 4% is your flame orb. So they kind of contribute a small amount of damage but your main damage is coming from arcing blast. So always remember try and pop that cooldown, that macro you've got basically uh, when it's off of cooldown. Don't do it too early, you want to basically be doing um, your macro burn basically uh, when you've got 30 seconds left on evocate. So as soon as basically 30 seconds is remaining on that cooldown, activate the macro, go full burnout phase, and then pop evocate again to get yourself back to full mana once you've reached around 30 to 40k mana left of your mana pool. Um, after that you just enter your mana sustained phase or standard DPS rotation. So that's just basically, as I said, four arcane blasts and an arcane missile. And you can pop flame orb while you're doing that, just to help with the damage a bit. You won't do a lot of damage during this particular part of the phase. Uh, you'll be very dependent on uh, raid setup to keep the damage high. You can do roughly around 20k DPS, give or take, depending on your raid setup, whether it's 10 or 25 man, and whether or not you've got um, certain people in your raid setup, like Warlock, Shadow Priest, Fire Mage, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much the guide in total. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for taking the time to watch.